afternoon, Robin Cooper here, and um, today I want to do something special. I know I was going to do um, butterflies and rainbows and whatnot, but, um, wow, that was nice. Thank you, Shadow. But I um, actually was thinking about a memory, and when I was nine years old, I was taken down to the Cleveland Playhouse, and my mom and I went, it was just the two of us, and we saw Pippin. And I was absolutely blown away by the show. I thought it was the most fantastic show I've ever seen. And I saw the original cast. Um, I know there's a Pippin now that is playing off Broadway, or on Broadway, and that's a very good version as well. Um, I've seen it um, just on a video. I haven't actually seen it live, but I did see the original casting of Pippin live back in, oh goodness, I would have been a long, long time ago now, um, back in the um, you know, 70s, basically. And um, the guy who did The Greatest American Hero was the actor, so I'm sure you remember him. He was fantastic. Um, I loved him in the role. He was just great. So, um, and then when I was a little girl, I was in a lot of vocal stuff, and uh, when I was in uh, the 7th and 8th grade, uh, my teacher, who was uh, my music teacher at the time, and unfortunately he has since passed, and, um, but his name was Richard Moser, and he was just fantastic. Um, I remember the first day he heard me sing, and he said, oh my gosh, girl, <laughs> you're amazing and he put me in everything I was in choir I was in the special choir I was in the special ensemble I played the piano for the choir I was the pianist um, and I was in the seventh grade and I was recognized and he recognized my abilities at that time um, but my mom and dad were very mobile people and they moved all the time and we'd get settled, and we'd pick up, and we'd move, and we'd get settled, and they'd pick up, and they'd move. And so my um, abilities were sort of not noticed after that. Um, I was a child miracle. I was in everything. I was in plays. I had lead roles. And I did Tom Sawyer, where I played Sid when I was five. <laughs> and... Um, that was at the Chagrin Valley Little Theater in Chagrin Valley, Ohio. And then I, um, we did Babes in Toyland. And I was um, Little Red Riding Hood, I believe. That, that's enough, Shadow. I believe I was a Little Red Riding Hood in that one. And then in The Wizard of Oz, I played a flying monkey. But I was only in the fourth grade in that one. <laughs> and so forth and so on. So I was in many, many, many plays and many, many musical things as I was growing up. But this was in the Cleveland and Pittsburgh area. Uh, I didn't actually do a whole lot. Um, the last move that we made was to North Carolina, and um, that didn't go over well. And so, not that I don't like North Carolina, because North Carolina is a beautiful place, and it's fine. It's, it's a nice place. But um, by then, I was 18, 19, and it was time to go off to college and all that other good stuff. So, anyway, um, the reason I wanted to say that is because um, most people, when they meet me, they assume that I'm just a normal, everyday girl. And I am not. Um, I've always been exceptional, exceptional in school. Uh, exceptional in pretty much anything that I want to do. And, but I am a autistic. And that was missed. And for me, that was hard. Because I did not understand um, the way that the kids would do. And I didn't understand Oh, high school, oh wow, that was a joke. Um, high school was the most confusing time I could ever imagine, and most of the time I didn't show it. Most of the time I'd smile and tell everybody that 
uh, um, you know, I was okay or whatever, but I didn't understand half of what went on in high school. Not the subject matter. The subject matter that we were taught was easy. Um, it was more of the social skills, social interaction with others. But I've always been a smiling person. Um, if those of you who might remember me from my childhood, um, I always smiled. And I was always sweet. Well, at least I tried to be. <laughs> I was, didn't always come off that way, I don't think. But, you know, oh well. And so anyway, long story short, I guess I'm rambling and I apologize. So I want to go back to the Pippin thing. So today... I decided that I would record the music first and then record the vocals for Pippin. And um, so I recorded, I played all the all the, the keyboard and I put all the instruments into the um, system and loaded each thing. And it's sort of my version of Pippin. It's a little different, obviously. Um, but I still think it turned out really cool, so I hope you like it. And the stage is pretty simple. Now the um, stage, I used this sheet here um, because when I saw the Pippin banner, I mean, from the 80s and from the current version of Pippin, they both have those diamond things going on, those shapes. And um, so, you know, shapes, colors, sounds, all those things are accentuated for me uh, because of um, what I am. You know, autistic. So I hope you enjoy it. Again, it's sort of my version of Pippin. And I'm going to do Corner of the Sky. And so this is just a tribute uh, because, like, like I said, I was thinking about when I was nine years old and my mom taking me to that play. And that was one of my favorite songs. I used to sing it from, oh my goodness, I would run all around the house and I'd sing it over and over and over and over and over. And Mom bought me the soundtrack, and I would just, I, I wouldn't put it down. I just would listen to it constantly. And it was um, really amazing to me that, in, it was just amazing to me that that musical was just so incredible. Um, I loved it. Um, it was just fantastic. And like I said, I saw the, the cast from the late 70s, and, and that was fantastic. I mean, I just... I ate that up. I, I couldn't wait. Mom said, do you want anything when we left the theater? And I was just like, yeah, buy me the soundtrack. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you enjoy it. Corner of the Sky. And Sebastian's going to be our puppet. And I'm going to duck here behind this little curtain. And here we go.
sometimes I think I'm not after anything at all. Oh, no.